the fans need to know um, how this came about, that the stadiums that they're sitting in was built uh, by workers and many of whom were in conditions of what we would call forced labor or other forms of modern slavery. And I would ask anybody who's watching this tournament to think how they make a difference in the world. The fear of reprisal is exceedingly high. So uh, our report covers 60 in-depth interviews in terms of detailed testimony, but Equidem spoke to actually close to a thousand workers um, over this year and a half. And workers are frankly sort of, to get into quite a sweat when it comes to um, doing something, whether it is media facing or whether it is actually reporting um, the kind of issues that they faced. And the main reason for this is actually sort of uh, almost like two pairs of eyes that they feel that are on them. And one pair of eyes are the Qatari authorities where they fear some kind of punitive action or implications. And the other pair of eyes are their own employers. very often employers still continue this exercise of retaining worker passports, which actually is counter to Qatari law as well. So, um, and not just in Qatar's case, in a lot of countries these days, which uh, are under the Kafala system, uh, or what they call the sponsorship system, they have tried to start reforming these things. But unfortunately, we see very sizable gaps between what they say has changed in the law or in the policy and what happens in practice.